Hey everyone, just want to talk about the shooting in Quebec, the political motivated one. Um, before you label all gun owners psychopaths, the man who uh, killed one person unfortunately and wounded another and set the damn place on fire, um, he was wearing a Toronto's Maple Leafs bathrobe and a ski mask. Most gun owners aren't crazy. If you show up to a political event wearing a bathrobe, a ski mask, and a rifle and a pistol, chances are you may be a touch crazy. So please, don't, don't paint us all with the same brush. Um, I gotta say I'm really disappointed. It's not an Anglo-French thing, I'll tell you that. The guy who did the shooting was French, but he was yelling out about how the English are rising. Does that not seem a little weird to you? Seems a little weird to me. What saved a lot of lives was the guy was an idiot and retarded. He uses a gun that's known to jam a lot, the CZ858. Without a modification, they jam quite often. I have an unmodified one, but 556 caliber. I had to think about that for a second. Um, and I'm not crazy. So please, don't paint us all the same brush, nor do I like the Leafs, okay? I do own a black ski mask, but I do not like or support the Leafs. Let's get that straight. Anyway, I think it's really sad. Um, I really don't hope, I really hope they don't use this uh, event to raise support for the separatist cause in Quebec. I think that's a bad idea. Um, yeah. Not cool. Not cool at all, kids. Uh, oh! Over half of... Sorry, different subject. Over half of Canadians now don't live paycheck to paycheck. I think it's 51%. That still means 49% of us as Canadians are living paycheck to paycheck. Get a pen and paper. I am going to tell you how to become wealthy. Go ahead. I'll wait a second. You could get a pen and paper. I'm listening to Ko, a uh, singer from Toronto. He's Portuguese, but I like him anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, you ready? Hers had to get rich. Stop spending every last penny you make. It's that easy. Really, it is. I own the house. This house I sit in, I own it. I have a mortgage on it, but I still own it. And the bank. And um, I own my car. I own my motorcycle. I own everything in my house. I don't owe anybody a penny, except for the mortgage company, but I'm working on it. Uh, I've been in this house three years, and I've paid off $40,000 in change, so I'm doing pretty good. Stop spending every last penny you make. Really. I bank close to a thousand bucks a month. I'm a middle class Canadian. Um, I know a lot of people can't bank money. I know. They have kids and everything else. I, I have dogs. I have two of them. Hang on. Pharaoh! Pharaoh! See if I can get him. Anyway, he'll show up, I'm sure of it. Anyway, people with children, I understand. Kids aren't cheap. The worst STD ever. The damn things last forever. And no pill will cure that. <sighs> but I'm single. Or, actually, I have a girlfriend. But I, I live a very quiet life. Uh, I go shooting on weekends, I drink a ton of beer, not together, not at the same time, the trifecta of gun safety, alcohol, weapons, and ammunition don't mix. You can have two of the three, but never all three at once. Um, yeah. So yeah, stop spending everything, really. Think about what you need and what you want. My ex-wife took the TV. I don't need a TV. I really don't. I don't really miss it. A friend of mine, he gave me one. I don't have cable yet. I have to uh, acquire it yet. Um, but yeah, think about what you need and what you want. Most people want are bigger than what they need. A lot of people get that mixed up. Really, they do. I have a modest house. I have a four-bedroom, two-bath house um, on an acre of land. I live in eastern Canada. It was fairly cheap. You can do it. I pay less than a thousand dollars a month for my house. It cost me roughly a thousand dollars a month to pay all my bills and my mortgage. 
Think about it. You don't need a giant house. This isn't giant. It's really not. Um, I was pre-approved for $300,000 for a mortgage. I don't need a $300,000 home. I really don't. Um, I need something that's quiet and nice. Oh, I lost my music. Let's fix that, shall we? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There. Much better. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. So, stop spending yourself to death. Really. Yeah. I'm a big fan of bargains. I do have a membership at Costco. Don't mean to put the plug in there, but... Uh, I buy 80 rolls, sorry. 40 double rolls of toilet paper. That lasts me a year. I buy 10 liters of uh, dish detergent. It lasts me a year. Laundry detergent? Okay. I buy two 10 liters a year. That's it. Think about stuff like that. You get some good deals and you don't. You know? I get my steak directly from a butcher shop that deals directly with the farmer. There's no middleman. Grocery stores have a middleman. That's where the extra money comes in. It's true. And it helps them dating the girl who runs the butcher shop. <laughs> I like steak and she likes me. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Um, madness, really. Madness. Um, yeah. So yeah. Quebec election. Shot the place up. So that it happens. It does. Uh, you ever notice all these shootings will really be happening in Quebec? Does that tell you anything? It's just my opinion. What do I know? Um, and money, yeah. Hang on to it. You know what? Don't keep up with the Joneses. Let the Joneses spend themselves to death. Because they will. These people will go bankrupt. My ex-wife made good money. And never had a penny every paycheck. Never a penny. Spend every last cent. Me? I'm paying everything here myself, and I have lots of money. Oh, speak of the devil. Here, hang on a second. That's the devil. I have him, and I have an older one. So, yeah. So, please, don't make gun owners out to be total whack jobs. Most of us are decent, honest, ordinary people who have lives. We just like to go shooting and hunting and fishing and whatever else. Outdoorsy types, really. Um... And yeah, please, just save your money. You really? Do you really need a 60-inch TV? What are you making up for? You have a tiny, tiny penis? Really? Think about that for a second. I'm just saying. <sighs> anyway, I should go. And just remember, kids, the lap dance is always better when the stripper's crying. Have a good night.